Good day, everyone. How are you today? It is Bordeaux Rose here. I'm coming on to review um, this e.l.f. beauty shield that I purchased online um, not too long ago. And uh, let me pull it out of my drawer because I realize it's not in the box. I've been using it because I really want to see, I wanted to see how well it works with different um, foundations and things of that nature, you know, um, you know, just to see if it really works. <laughs> but anyway, do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If my eyebrow looks crazy, it's because I shaved it off. <laughs> By mistake, I'm not even going to go into that. But don't worry, it's going to grow back, okay? <laughs> now you're going to be like, but yeah, I shaved it off. And uh, it's camouflaged a little bit right now. But you can see it when I do like this. <laughs> but anyway, so here it is. All right. First, let's get into the cost. This cost me $12.99. Um, there's one ounce in here. It is called the Elf Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection SPF 50. Okay. Um, universal tint because it has like a little brown tint to it, but which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, it says apply to face um, on clean, dry skin, wear alone, or under foundation. For best results, use after our Beauty Shield SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer. I don't have the moisturizer. Now, the um, active ingredient in here is the zinc oxide, nano, 25%, okay? So that is what the active ingredient is in this SPF. Now, what I love about this is it is an SPF and a primer. Yay, yay, okay, I love that. Um, it has a little pump, which I have never, I'm going to be honest, I've never owned a tube with a pump on it. It seems pretty cool. I just want to see if I'm going to be able to get all of my product because I can't go, you know, I can't go and get it out, you know, because, you know, but I guess because it sits like this, I'll probably get most of it out. Probably. Um, shipping, I got this from e.l.f. Shipping is always kind of average with e.l.f you know, four to five days, maybe more sometimes. They don't really have fast shipping. But what I love is they always send you a little free gift when you use like their little promotional item codes or whatever. Uh, free shipping is an option sometimes. So I really do love this. I put it on under my makeup and it keeps my, I'm always dropping things. If you watch my videos, if you subscribe and you watch my videos, I'm always doing this. I don't know what that is. I have like butterfingers. But anyway, um, Okay, now, how I use this is exactly what it says. I, I put, actually, I don't use it on, well, I use it on dry skin because my skincare had already dr dried by the time I get ready to use this. So I wash my face, I moisturize my face, and then I um, put this on when I get ready to put my makeup on. My skin is already dry. Um, so I put about this much, about from here to here on my fingertip which is the recommended when you're using sunscreen. I'm going to show you what it looks like just a little bit. I don't want to waste it. But um, I love how you can kind of control the this this right here. I love how you can control it. It's not like, oh, you squirt it out and a whole bunch comes out. You can kind of control it as you saw, okay? But it's very thick. It's not runny at all. It's, it's creamy. It almost feels moussey a little bit, but it has that tint. Of course, because I'm dark skin, even when I use this, I still have that white cast on my um, on my face when I use it, but it's okay. I put makeup over it and it covers it up well. It doesn't do anything to my foundation. Um, you can see that it gives you this matte look, but like satin matte kind of finish. Now, when you put this on, I don't mind putting it on my hands because I like to put sunscreen on my hands anyway um but when you put this on it gives like a little tacky feeling it doesn't dry dry really dry it dries kind of tacky so when you get ready to put your makeup on it almost feels like it's you know um magnetic feel magnetic force feel to your to your primer when you do use this so i really love it i love it under my makeup now as far as the oiliness my skin does stay matte for majority of the day it starts to it doesn't break down my makeup 
but I do start to get a little oily after about the seven or eight hour because when I get ready to go home from work I always have to come in and blot so I still get a little oily but it does not break up my makeup I just blot a little bit and I'm fine some uh, primers when I use them and I blot it does break up my makeup so I think this is amazing uh beautiful and I think it's worth a go I think it's worth a try I, I actually will be repurchasing this you know I use another one um but I have to be honest for the price of this I will be repurchasing this the other one um performs just as well but this price though and the fact that I could walk into the store or order it I have an option the other one I have to actually order online so um you know I really prefer this but I just want to give you a real quick review on this I didn't do a demo because it's just me putting it on my face you know it's it, it leaves you see how it leaves it you can see right here where I didn't put it it's very shiny right here I have a nice matte finish and it feels a tiny bit sticky okay so I think we're good I think we're good with this try it out or if you've already tried it out let me know how you like it but definitely give it a go the price is right for this okay and as we have 50 girl come on that's great the other one i have is the SPF 30 and i pay like 30 bucks for it so this is really good try it out it's worth a try you're not losing anything you probably just gain if you have super dry skin be careful with it because it's it's matte as you can see it's very matte so check it out let me know let me know let me know all right thanks so much for watching positive washing thanks so much for watching thanks so much for watching and positive vibes have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.